So I am recording this on my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Um, I'm not sure how good the audio is going to be on this because I don't often use this for filming, but we're going to try to get the best I can so that I can show you my cameras and what I use. Now this camera here is the GoPro 7 Black. This one here is the GoPro 5 Black. Now this mic, that's just a cheap mic, a Boya mic. This is the Rode mic, the Rode video mic. Okay. Um, what I had to do before my setup was I had to order this case to be able to run either camera with the GoPro mic. Now, the problem is with a GoPro, you have to have an adapter box, which I have, if I can clear it, it's inside here, inside this case. Now, the problem is when I had it on the back of this camera here, it always flopped all around. It was all over the place. It was such a big pain. It drove me crazy. So what I did was I found a guy online. He makes these. These go on the bottom of this style case. And then once they're on the bottom of that style case, that GoPro mic adapter box goes inside here. The cable will run through the back part here. And that way it's not flopping around and it just mounts to the bottom of this one and then you put your regular mount on the bottom of here the problem is it doesn't come with any of the machine screws and you have to buy those separate well to have him make this on a 3d printer is 45 dollars then he charges you another 10 dollars to ship now many of us have been asking gopro for a long time to make a case that will hold this bulky box you have to have to run a microphone on a GoPro. You can't buy the cheap ones, the generic ones. It has to be GoPro's mic adapter, which is 50 bucks. And a lot of people have been asking GoPro for that case. They failed to make one. So I ordered this and I never put it on there because I didn't have the screws and I still don't have them, which I may just go to a hardware store, find them and get them put on and just make a backup. Now, it took about two weeks to get because they're on back order, and it's made by an off-brand company. I'll put the link in the description, and it is the entire case with the spot to put that GoPro box already built into the case. When you spin it around, there is a button right there. You press it in. This back door slides off of it, and the camera goes in and out. The box goes in the bottom there. You plug your mic in. And then the other end of the mic comes out and plugs in to the side of the camera right there. And then my mic is up top there. A lot of guys get it to where it's bounced around. I also had to buy these adapters because if you don't have these adapters, like on this one, I end up shaving the bottom of this windsock off. But this mic will bounce up and down while you're walking and it goes down into your, in your field of view. So I bought the adapters on Amazon. They're really cheap to rise it up to make the mic higher so that doesn't happen. But this mic really doesn't. I can pull it down and make it move, but walking, it doesn't move. And the way that I do that is on the road mount, there's all these slots. You can see these slots and these grooves. We just pull down on the cable a little bit so it tips the mic up and holds it a little stiff. And then you stick the cable in there and it keeps that from bouncing around. But now everything's nice and content and it fits right in there perfectly. And then I use these tripods because all it is is a stick. I can collapse it in and you can hold it any way you need to and use as a regular stick, drop it down, it flips out real easy and you have yourself a tripod. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. These are super cheap. I think this was like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. It may even been 15, I'm not sure. But that's what I use, and that is the setup that I have come to to be able to vlog with a GoPro. I am now filming on that GoPro 7 with that Rode mic. I love the GoPro 7 because of the in-body stabilization. You can run with it, walk with it. Looks like the camera's on a gimbal. I think it's the best thing GoPro has done. I've looked at the DJI Osmo and the DJI Plus, which is bigger than the Osmo. Fantastic cameras, I love them. It would be a great way to vlog but they just don't have the durability that I like and need for a GoPro for the type of vlogs that I do. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi, say hi. You wanna say hi? No? You don't wanna say hi, you just wanna lick your lips? Just lip licking, huh? No hi? No words of encouragement for people? Nothing? Nothing? Say hi. Show everybody your cool eyes.
good doggy. But anyway, so this is the setup I use. Many people have asked me, this is what I use, this is how I do it. I just recently got this new case, so up until this point, I was using the old case, the blue case. And that's what I had to do, and I had to deal with the GoPro adapter just bouncing around on the back, flopping around. The bad part with that is every time it smacks against the case, that noise translates into the video. Especially if you have a good mic that's picking up those small sounds. So it just became a big problem with me that I didn't want to deal with, and I'm glad I found this. I wish GoPro would have stepped up to the plate. Uh, people have been asking for this for a couple of years, as far as I can find, looking back through other videos. They haven't done it, but at the same time this case was only like $24 and if GoPro had made it it had been probably a hundred so I'm glad GoPro I wish you'd have stepped up I wish you'd have done it and made it but I'm glad this company finally come out with it and there's a couple different brands um, there's one that's called ProMad or something like that ProNad and uh, they made one I see their advertisements all over Facebook and then there's this one like I said, I'll put the links in the description so that you can find all the stuff for this exact setup. But that's it. As always, guys, don't be everybody. Be somebody. And this is my setup.